என்னடா பண்ண நான் கலவரம் பண்ணி வச்சுட்டு போயிட்டேனா அதெல்லாம் நல்லா ஷூட்டிங் நடத்துறீங்களா தாவுடா தாவு வச்சுக்கு அப்பாடா தப்பிச்சாச்சு இது யாராலேயும் பிடிக்க முடியாது நம்ம என்ன ஏதோ வர மாதிரி இருக்கு என்னது இது ஆஹா முதல்ல என்ன எத்தனை இருக்கு ஐயோ கொரகொடாயில் நல்ல வேலை மாட்டி இருந்திருப்பேன் உனக்கு எவ்வளவு தைரியம் பழைய போட்டு பிடிச்சிடுறோம் உன்னை என்ன பிடிக்க முடியல ஆய்
நல்லபடியா போயிட்டு நல்லபடியா வந்து
country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone, and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. Twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> That's an embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Oh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the mm -hmm. dead, but they've done so without paying I tribute to the uh, living. The thing yeah. is, they see my men, of course, they're oh, the man. So maybe petrani. you two head off, huh? Mm -hmm. And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. Business for our star. Okay, uh, fella. Um, Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good. Holding your tongue in there. Ah. Do you trust what one word that comes out of that there. bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. Hey, that poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's <laughs> going to hold yeah, Jack's passport branch for all the money we <laughs> cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's <laughs> left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Think about it. Follow Jana. Okay, oh, cemetery club on this way. Skin crawl. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Wait, what was that? Hey, hey. hey there, boy. Well, 
என்ன தோன்றேன் இங்க எடுத்துக்கிட்டு தோணுமா இருக்கு
Figured there might be something in here. Oh. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit. It's the law. Oh, it's right. Let's go. Oh, maybe we... it's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. John Marchand. Unbelievable. 
Why are you doing that? Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? <laughs> a big gala? I don't think that's necessary. A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. You seem a little distracted, Arthur. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I got my I son got back. Jack, 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 Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! Well... <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. you 
fine folks get reacquainted.
Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That is Alberto Fusar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these folk 
vulgar people. Huh? They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money... Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Even and all. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Rider? We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, something like that. Oh, 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 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in inside in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what.